Blake here with SLF Motion. Today we will be installing an Evo speed system for a SRAM axis rear derailleur. This installation method is the same for red, force, and rival axis rear derailleurs. Tools required for installation may vary slightly between red, force, and rival rear derailleurs. It's a good idea to have a two millimeter hex, a 2.5 millimeter hex, a three millimeter hex, as well as the provided axis installation tool and its accompanying five millimeter hex. With the chain and rear wheel removed, the next step is to shift your derailleur into the open position. I have found that installing systems for axis road rear derailleurs, it is easiest done on a bench top rather than on the bike. To remove the rear derailleur from the bike, you will use a five millimeter hex and remove. With the derailleur off the bike and onto your bench top, the first step is to disassemble your Evo speed system. To do so, you will use a two millimeter hex and remove the four screws on the back plate. Once that is done, you can remove both pulley wheels and you will also need to remove the washer on top of the system. Next, we are ready to disassemble the stock pulley wheel cage. This you will use a 2.5 millimeter hex. Also at this time, you will remove the stock stop screw with a two millimeter hex. Next up is removal of the cage. Before we do so, let me clear some space and we'll get to it. To remove the plate, you're going to use the provided axis installation tool along with a five millimeter hex. As you can see, it's a unique nut that they use. You're gonna use this unique tool to remove it. Slide that in, use your five millimeter and loosen. Keep in mind the cage is under tension due to the spring inside. So keep a hold of the cage while removing this nut. Once the nut is removed, the cage will want to unwind. And once it's unwound, you can pull it out and leave the spring in. And now we're ready to install the Evo speed system. Before installing your Evo speed system, we first need to reset the clutch of the derailleur. First, let's remove the spring. Now you will see that there is a shoulder inside the mounting pin of the derailleur that has like a D shape to it. Your Evo speed system mounting plate has that same shape. We're gonna use this to reset it. Once that is in there and locked into that D shape, 
You want to rotate that counterclockwise until it stops, about right there. At this point, we can reinstall the spring and get ready to install the Evo speed system. With the clutch reset, we are now ready to install the Evo speed system. Note that on the mounting plate of your Evo system, this hole here will be labeled I or rival, and that is for a rival derailleur. The other hole will be for force or red derailleurs. This particular derailleur today is a red, so we will be using this hole for installation. Line this hole up with the tab on the spring. Once that is in there, we are going to lightly reinstall the mounting nut. Once tight, just back it off just a hair. Now we are ready to put tension on the cage. This is the critical part because once you wind this counterclockwise, what you're trying to do internally is align those D, two D shapes we just discussed. And there, it just sat down on there. So now we get our installation tool. And now tighten the nut all the way. You will tighten this to about five or six Newton meters. You will know it's installed correctly when you see a uniform small gap mating up with the derailleur. Now that the plate is installed, first thing we can do is reinstall the stop screw. using our two millimeter hex. And now we can reinstall the wheels. We'll be using the same two millimeter hex that was used to disassemble. Once all four screws are in, go back through, snug them all up, and this derailleur is ready to go back on the bike. Here we have a rival axis rear derailleur. It's a bit unique in that there is not a clutch stop inside the derailleur, therefore the orientation of this flange D shape is a bit more important during installation, so I want to note it. Note that this uh, D shape is, the top of it is horizontal to the mounting bolt down here. Flat up top, rounded at the bottom. And also note, we're going to install this with the stop screw still installed into the plate. You will install into the hole labeled I or rival. Install the nut.
loosen just slightly. Now we are going to put tension on by rotating up and over until the D-shape of the plate mates down onto the D-shape of the derailleur. And now we can retighten the nut completely. And by doing so, the stop screw is already there, so you're good to go. You will know this was a correct installation when there's a uniform gap up top. This has been installed correctly. With the Evo speed system now installed onto the rear derailleur, we are now ready to reinstall the derailleur onto the bike using your five millimeter hex. With it installed, we are now ready to reinstall the chain and the rear wheel. Once your rear wheel is installed, next up is to install the chain. If you're coming from a previously installed oversized pulley system, then your chain length is probably already set. If you are starting with a new chain, unfortunately I can't really tell you that you need to take exactly one or two or three links out. There's just too many variables such as frame sizes, cassette sizes, front chain ring sizes, etc. What I can say is you will likely need to remove between one and four links out of a brand new chain to get yours set up correctly. If you're uncomfortable doing this, just take it to your local bike shop and I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Once your chain is installed correctly, there's four more things we gotta do before we can get back on the road. First, you will need to adjust the B screw Next, you will need to adjust your high and low limit screws. And lastly, you will need to readjust the trim. I want to say thanks to the Chesser family for letting me borrow one of their beautiful Stein & Fitton F1 road bikes. And now for my favorite part of every installation. 